from small and nimble vehicles that traverse the desert terrain to mammoth trucks and heavy transport behemoths, here are 25 of the world's coolest special service vehicles. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. Tatra 813 and Tatra 815. Produced between 1959 and 1982, this monster truck was manufactured in Czechoslovakia and was powerful enough to pull trailers that weighed 200,000 pounds. Sporting a V12 diesel engine, meaning the vehicles were exported to the USSR, India, and Romania. The Tatra 815, this truck's successor, is still being produced today. Originally designed for its extreme off-road operations, the T851 has models geared towards military and civilian purposes. The Marauder Produced in South Africa, it's an armored and mine-protected vehicle developed for reconnaissance and peacekeeping operations. Its smaller design allows it to better navigate confined urban areas while cruising at speeds of 75 miles an hour. We mentioned that the Marauder was developed for peacekeeping, but that doesn't mean it can't protect itself. It's capable of carrying machine guns, cannons, and missile launchers. Desert Patrol Vehicle before sending in the big guns, the U.S. military will often dispatch these fast-moving lighter frame vehicles. The DPVs are often used for reconnaissance purposes since its smaller size and quick mobility allows it to conduct hit-and-run style raids and engage in low-intensity guerrilla combat. The Ferret Armored Car This odd-looking vehicle of British origin was an armored vehicle designed for fighting and reconnaissance. Its armament could include light machine guns and anti-tank missiles. Manufactured between 1952 and 1971, the British Army, Royal Air Force, and Commonwealth countries widely adopted it. The Ultra App This is actually a concept combat vehicle that is being developed with the intent of replacing the Humvee at some point. The Ultra App is filled with a plethora of advanced features, including the latest bulletproof glass and lightweight armor technology. Race car technology from NASCAR engineers includes safety harnesses and shock-absorbing seats. Weighing less than 9,000 pounds, or 4 metric tons, it has 6 times the fuel efficiency of a Humvee. The Tiger II Sometimes mistakenly called the King Tiger or Royal Tiger, the German army used this heavy tank during World War II. At a weight of 140,000 pounds or 64 metric tons, the vehicle was shielded by more than 7 inches of armor. It was also armed with a long barrel anti-tank cannon. Those qualities gave it a distinct advantage over Western Allied and Soviet tanks that tried to attack it head-on. The M3 Half-Track Known officially as the Carrier, this American armored vehicle was a personnel carrier widely used by the US, the British, and other allies during World War II and into the Cold War. Around 15,000 vehicles were produced, along with some 50,000 derivative variants, some of which had anti-aircraft capabilities. The Busan Sandcat An Israeli company created this composite armored vehicle that's derived from the Ford F-Series truck. Depending on the version, the Sandcat can weigh up to 6 tons and transport 8 soldiers. Its distinctive design gives it a sleek look that's accentuated by trapezoid-shaped windows that offset the weight of the transparent armor. Its armor body is composed of steel and ceramic components which can be replaced in the field of combat. The Chinouth Advanced Light Strike Vehicle The US developed this all-terrain light military vehicle which is used primarily by the Marines and the Navy SEALs. At 3,500 pounds, or 1.6 metric tons, it's light and small enough to be transported into a transport aircraft like the CH-47 Chinook helicopter. Geared for hit-and-run attacks, the main weapon station includes machine guns or grenade launchers along with portable anti-tank deterrents. The M1117 Armored Security Vehicle This was one of the first American military vehicles that was manufactured with a mine-resistant hull. That feature was adopted after the threat posed by improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, to troops in Iraq. Its armament includes grenade launchers and machine guns. Relatively light, at some 30,000 pounds, it can attain speeds of 70 miles an hour and negotiate up to 5 feet of water. The M1 Abrams Made in America, this is a third generation main battle tank. Expressly designed for current armored ground combat, the vehicle is heavily armored, well armed, and highly mobile. Propelled by a multi-fuel turbine engine and carrying high-tech composite armor, it's among the heaviest such tanks in service, weighing up to 136,000 pounds. In addition to being a main battle tank of the US, the M1 Abrams serves a similar function for the armies of Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Australia. The Willys MB 
That's the name for this four-wheel drive vehicle used by the Allied forces during the 1940s, but it's better known as the iconic Jeep. If you've ever seen the military movie before, you've definitely seen it in action. Capable of speeds of up to 65 miles an hour, it had an operational range of some 300 miles. Manufactured between 1941 to 1945, the Jeep became the first four-wheel drive vehicle to be produced in hundreds of thousands. It also served as inspiration for many subsequent generations of military light utility vehicles, in addition to recreational four-wheel drive vehicles. The Panzer VIII Mouse Tank Another vehicle that saw action during WW2, this super heavy tank was used by the German army. With a weight exceeding 414,000 pounds, this is the heaviest fully enclosed armored combat vehicle ever constructed. Its 128mm gun was powerful enough to destroy any Allied armor fighting vehicle in service at that time. While five were initially ordered, only one Panzer VII Miles turret and two hulls were completed before the Soviet forces captured the testing grounds. It's now on display at Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia. Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck Weighing more than 100,000 pounds, depending on the model, these vehicles definitely qualify as a heavy-duty truck. The diesel-powered eight-wheel drive tactical truck is used by the U.S. military and has been in non-stop production since 1982. The primary function is to provide heavy transport for weapon systems and supplying and resupplying combat vehicles. Also known as HEMT, it has a variety of different models, including a tanker, a cargo, and a wrecker. The Volkswagen Schwimmwagen its name translates to the swimming car, which is an apt description of the versatile performer. The amphibious four-wheel drive off-roaders were extensively used by German ground forces in WW2. Did you know that the Type 166 Schwimmwagen is the most mass-produced amphibious car of all time? Combat Tactical Vehicle this one is a testbed vehicle that was commissioned by the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, a program undertaken by the U.S. military to replace a Humvee. The heavily armored vehicle can support a wide range of armaments, including an M2 machine gun. The Vespa 150 Tap Bazooka Vespa The Italian company known as Vespa is best known for producing its famous scooters. But in 1956, a French vehicle manufacturer licensed by Vespa designed this model for use by paratroops. Unlike the civilian version, this model came with a completely mounted 75mm recoilless anti-armor cannon. While it looks like the cannon could be fired while riding, the driver would actually have to stop the vehicle, then mount the cannon on a tripod, which was provided with the scooter. The BTR-60 Developed in the 1950s, this was the first series of Soviet eight-wheeled amphibious armored personnel carriers. Still in service, the vehicles were first used in real combat in the 1960s. They also saw action during the Soviet war in Afghanistan. Other countries importing the BTR-60 include India, North Korea, Iran, and ironically, Afghanistan. The MRAP as their name implies, these big machines are specifically built to withstand attacks from IEDs and ambushes. They're designed with V-shaped holes that deflect explosive forces from IEDs or landmines underneath the vehicle, and that protects the vehicle and passengers within. Depending on the model, MRAP vehicles can weigh up to 18 tons. More than 12,000 of them were deployed during the war in Iraq and also the war in Afghanistan, but production of MRAP vehicles was halted in 2012. The M1249 this mechanical behemoth is known as a Military Recovery Vehicle, or MRV. You might think of it as a pumped-up version of a tow truck. The M1249 has a wherewithal to recover any military combat vehicle that has been struck or damaged. That includes the mine-resistant ambush protective vehicles as well, and they can weigh up to 36,000 pounds. The Auto Car Cobra Manufactured in Turkey, this is an infantry mobility vehicle that can serve a variety of military reasons. That includes anti-tank vehicle, armored personnel carrier, and turret vehicles for firing machine guns, cannons, and missiles. And if that's not enough, the Cobra can function as an amphibious combat vehicle as well. The TPZ Fuchs This armored personnel carrier can also have an amphibious adaptation, depending on the model. Manufactured in Germany, it's used by that country's army, but other places include the US and Saudi Arabia as well. Definitely a multitasker, this vehicle can provide troop and engineer transport, electronic warfare, and NBC. That stands for Nuclear, Biological, and Chemical Reconnaissance. The Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle The EFV was designed as an amphibious assault vehicle for the US Marine Corps, but it never had the chance to see active duty. Fast, heavily armored, and carrying superior firepower, it could have been launched from an amphibious assault ship then carried a marine rifle squad ashore. Originally planned for development in 2015, the EFV project was canceled in 2011. The Humvee You might have noticed a couple of vehicles on our list that are intended to replace the iconic military vehicle used by the US Army. The four-wheel drive military light truck has been produced since 1984 and gained a lot of attention when it was used in the Gulf War in 1991. 
Its primary purpose is for transporting personnel and supplies, not as a frontline fighting vehicle. It later had a civilian version known as the Hummer. Did you know that version came about in large part due to Arnold Schwarzenegger, who won a Humvee after seeing a convoy of them while filming the movie? Number 1. The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV so remember, we just mentioned that there were several vehicles under consideration to replace the Humvee. It looks like the US military has decided on this one as the successor, the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. These machines will have the capability of performing as an ambulance, an armament carrier, command and control center, and a variety of other logistical and support functions. It also has an operational range of 300 miles. The initial production contract was awarded in 2015 by the Oshkosh Corporation of Wisconsin. In 2019, the full rate production was approved by the US Army. Whoa, now that was a cool video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.